I really like the era from, the, say, 1930 to uh, the late 60s, when race cars were all mechanical design and said that there was no electronics, there was no aerodynamics, no ground effects, and that kind of technology didn't exist. I like the era when it was pure mechanical design. Why an Outlaw is because it's a modified car that's uh, maybe not modified to what the purists think that it should be. You know, it's not going to be a true replica of an RSR, or it's not going to be a restored to concourse condition. It's just going to be changes that are appealing aesthetically to me. driver school, competition driver school, and it's like, the first thing the instructor said, it says, these things are not trailer queens, they're meant to be driven, drive them hard, get them dirty, put them in the dirt, just drive hard. And it, that's always stuck to me, the vehicles are meant to be used, you should, should use them on the street, I don't care what the weather is. For me, the favorite part of driving a car is just to get it right. You get a nice shift, you get a nice application of the throttle, all of these back to when I used to race Formula V's and Formula Ford's. One of the things I like is when you're uh, driving through a nice windy road, it's, it's like you stay in your lane, but you uh, work with, within the lane and just drop maybe just half a tire off the edge of the road down at the apex of the curve. People come up to me and they ask me, why, why the plate pendulum? And I explain to them, you know, the early Porsches, they put the heavy six-cylinder engine out behind the rear axle and they didn't really handle that well. So the pendulum plate is uh, a little physics engineering humor to that aspect of the car. I'm a mechanical designer. At work, I look at new technology and new manufacturing techniques. And then at home, I like to uh, look at more of the old school stuff and uh, from my drafting board to the computer, solid modeling of the parts to freehand sketches. Still can't sketch where the dam. Yeah, it's definitely a car that's going to be a long term work in progress. Currently in the car there's a 2.2 liter engine which originally had 125 horsepower. So I have purchased a later 1974 model engine and the intent is to make a uh, good strong touring engine. The muffler is inspired by the 904 race cars. It still has some internal baffling, but then it has a megaphone, so it's, uh, it's a nicer look. I took a lot of the trim off, I took the badges off, I took the bumperettes off, lowered the ride height. I've done things like the deck lid, just to come up with something that looks, sort of, to me, a smoother, cleaner look. The plan is to make a long distance touring car. Definitely on the bucket list is uh, Tail of the Dragon. One thing that's great about uh, the hobby is, is what I really enjoy is just design it, sketch it, build it, drive it, have fun, make it your own.